place in the world. We're packing heavy today. I was here yesterday and forgot to bring metric 12 points, which I'll show you what that's for in a bit. As soon as I lug this thing out there. All right, this is where we left off yesterday. Just drug that wagon up this hill incline or whatever you will call it but that's where we were at old mustang t-top looks to be like seven and a half inch axle or whatever and a drive shaft So I couldn't get them bolts out. I totally forgot they are metric. And 12 point, that'd be no less. Uh, but we got sketchy jacks holding it up in a sketchy pile of wheels and brake rotors as jack stands. So let's try to make this quick. I don't need to lose my head over this. Miss these old cars. Just a nightmare in here. Alright, so let's see if I can sneak in here. Trying a 13. Too big. Oh, that could be trouble here. I have an 11. Oh, it's 12. <clears throat> so, unfortunately, the only 12 point crap I got is box end wrenches. Ain't too bad. Let's see if I can get this thing in neutral. Okay. Of course, it's missing. All of the stuff. Oh man. I hope that's neutral. Oh yeah. That's weird. Maybe I'm in actually in a gear because it won't turn the other way, which is good, and now I don't have to put it out of neutral to get these off. It's not bent. Ow. Mm -hmm. I do see a little ding in it. Crap. Mm. 
Well, it's not what I wanted, really. It kind of looks like it rolls straight, but there's a dent right here. From the forklift, I imagine. And it's not... It's not 45 and a half inches like the internet says. It's more like 46 and three quarter. Yeah, three quarter. Which the one I have is 47 and a quarter, so I don't think that half inch is gonna do me any good. So this is a V6 Mustang. And another V6 over there. I don't know. I don't feel like crawling under that one right now to find out it's the same deal. Let's go get the other prize. All right, so we're back at the 79 Fairmont Futura. It's got a 302, and I think it's what is an S-Rod, four-speed, or three-speed with overdrive. 